Hey guys, my name is Justin and I'm a full-time video creator. I want to be able to spread my knowledge on how to edit through these videos. So today's tutorial is going to be over the warp bubble effect, which will look a little something like this. Alright, so I've noticed on other tutorials in YouTube on how to do this effect that people aren't going fully in depth on how to use this effect and I have some secret tricks to show you to make your effect look just a little bit better. Um, first thing you're going to want to do is pull your footage into After Effects and then next thing you're going to want to do is duplicate it. So that's Command D on your keyboard. And I like to keep everything organized so I'm going to rename this layer Top Layer. Next thing you're going to want to do is use this tool called the Roto Brush tool. It's right up here, and it's this guy with a little paintbrush. You're going to want to select it, which I already have. And one tip I have for you guys is make sure that your resolution is set to full. Um, I've noticed that if you're using this Roto Brush tool, it works the best if resolution is set to full. So you're going to want to select this and then double click on the layer that you want to apply it to. So once we're in that layer, you can basically use this tool and draw over the object that you want to select. It's not perfect, so there will be areas that you're gonna have to touch up, like this headlight here, and the lines aren't perfect down here by the lip, so we're going to fix that up a little bit. Typically, I'd spend a good amount of time going through this and making sure that all the lines are perfect, but for the sake of time and making this tutorial simple and easy and fast, I'm just going to do a rough selection of the car. Once you have the car selected, what I like to do is go through frame by frame and make sure that this is tracking the car and not going off into any weird directions or losing track of the car. If I had the extra time, I would probably go back and redraw this portion here uh, for each frame that it seems to miss, like right back here. It seems to be off so let me just fix that real quick and right here too so what you're going to do next is go to the first frame where you selected your object and go ahead and hit freeze I had your drink now i want I you know, to i know freeze so once that's done you can close out of this layer and go back to your composition and so effectively what we've done is it will look a little something like this so this is what our top layer is now going to look like and we're gonna use this to basically hide the effect that we apply behind this layer. So what we wanna do now is we want to bring that background layer back in and let's duplicate this top layer one more time. And I'm gonna drag this duplicated layer underneath. So it's gonna be in between the top layer and our background footage. I'm gonna change this so that you guys can follow along better and I'm gonna call this layer um, effect. So once we've done that, we can basically apply the, uh, the effect to it. So the effect we're going to apply to make this warp bubble looking thing is called Turbulence Displace. So once we grab that, we're going to drag it onto here. And you can see it's already adding this effect towards the background. What you want to do is you want to start by keyframing. So we're going to do size and amount evolution and offset and we can even do complexity if we're going to go in depth for this tutorial so i would like to have the amount higher because it gives it more of that bubble look so i'm going to set it to around 900 and 960 between 900 and 1000 is typically good and for the size i'm going to drop this down all the way to let's set it to 10 10 looks pretty good so now you'll see that the bubbles are not moving whatsoever. So how do we change this? We want to go to the last frame of our clip. And we're gonna add another keyframe to this effect. So now we're gonna change the size to, let's do something like, I say right about 23-ish is where it's still keeping that bubble look. And I also like to change the complexity just a little bit. 
because it adds a little bit more movement to our bubbles in the background. So we'll change it to 1.6 towards the end. And then also you've noticed in some tutorials that you see the uh, bubbles in the background moving or rotating around the car. So to do this, we have our rotation at zero in the beginning. And at the end, we're gonna set it just slightly. So we're gonna do like 65 degrees. So now if you look at it, you'll see those bubbles are starting to come out and move. Another thing that I like to do is we can basically set the offset and have it kind of rise upwards. So we're gonna change the offset at the very end and we're gonna move it up just a slight bit. So now it adds a little bit more movement to our scene. I'm gonna give you guys one more extra thing that I like to do. So I will go here and we'll apply another effect to this um, layer. It's called VR Glow. We'll drag it onto our clip. And so now it's gonna give our bubbles a little bit like of a glowing effect, which is pretty cool. So we're gonna set the tint color to, um, let's maybe do like blue or something like that. Blue, okay. And then we're also gonna use tint color, use tint color. So now we have more of that blue color up here and it's a little bit bright. So I'm gonna turn this down just a tad bit, probably 0.4. So now with this effect on and off, this is the effect on, and this is VR glow off. So it adds a little bit more extra to your scene. And that's basically the effect uh, in a nutshell. Uh, I know some people tend to like this coming out from the bottom. Me personally, I don't really like this uh, showing up in the bottom and it takes the realism out of it. So one thing you can do is take your background layer you want to duplicate it and let's put it above everything so now you can't see anything so what we can do now is we can take our pen tool and basically let's pen out just the ground here boom so now this is basically cropped everything that shows up underneath here so if we go back and we look at our footage you can see that no bubbles show up underneath here. This is a uh, one thing that I like to add to make it look a little bit more realistic and a little bit more clean. Uh, and this is my opinion, you guys can do it any way you want, but uh, these are some effects that you can add to do this warp bubble effect. If you got any sort of knowledge out of this video, I would greatly appreciate any sort of support. May that be a like, a comment, or a subscribe. And uh, I hope to keep making these videos to show you guys how to edit and uh, how to do cool effects. Thank you, peace.